Okay, so next we're going to trim up the head and ears on an English setter. So here you can see she's pretty overgrown. Her throat's all overgrown and her whiskers are long. So we're going to trim up all of these areas. So we're gonna start with the wall bravira on the 10 setting. Although you could use a longer blade if you don't want it that short. And we're gonna start with the throat. You wanna hold her nose up toward the ceiling so you can get all of the skin in here nice and tight so you don't accidentally cut it. Um, to measure where to start, hold your nose straight out in front of her and place your fingers two finger widths above the breastbone here so you can feel that breastbone there. Put your fingers there and that's where you start. And I'm gonna shave in reverse to the coat growth. Like I said, point the nose up in case you have a lot of skin folds on your dog. And then to blend from all of the hair under the uh, muzzle here, we're gonna go with the coat growth. And we're gonna shave to, um, here you can kind of see a line where the coat changes growth directions. We're gonna shave to this line right here. And that's under the ear a little bit. Oop. And we'll go to the other side here. In another video, I'll show you how to scissor and trim up the neck so that you don't have such a blunt line here. But this is where we go. The shortest is on the throat. And then you're gonna pick the ear up and all of this extra hair here, you're gonna shave that. That extra hair just helps trap moisture in the ear and cause problems, so it's good to get all of that out. and then pull that ear out and shave the top about one third of the ear. This is an area where a lot of dogs get mats is right behind the ear, so it's good to keep this clip short so you can help prevent mats from forming back there. I'm going against the coat growth, so it's shorter, but you can go with the coat growth too. This is a sensitive area, so some dogs might shake their heads like she is. Then I like to shave the front of the ear, but you can leave that long too if you like it a little longer there. And then I clip their whiskers, but you can leave their whiskers. An easy trick for doing whiskers is to put your clippers so the blade is perpendicular to the muzzle and just skim it over all of the whiskers. I go in and kind of clean up the uh, hair under their lip too, because that's where a lot of food gets trapped.
if you don't want to shave the whole ear, you still could just shave back behind here where those mats are prone, especially if you're clipping the neck. Um, but even if you don't shave the neck, you could just go in with the clippers and shave this area because, um, you know, once they hold their ear down, you don't really notice it as much. And uh, then you're not trying to remove those mats that they get because those mats behind the ear can be really painful and irritating for them to uh, have clipped out. Okay, so now we're gonna clip the top of the head after our ears and our throat is done. So what you're gonna need for this is a slicker brush. And then I'm going to use a uh, 7FC clipper blade. You could also use your 10 blade on this, but that would take it really short. So what you wanna do is brush all of that hair on the top of the head up. And then following the growth of the hair, just start shaving the top of the head. And then when you get to the back of the skull, start lifting the blade off of the hair, off of the skin to start blending it into the hair on the back of the neck. You could also take your seven blade and kind of go on the sides of the head if they seem really hairy there. 